So here we are again with Harvard's 2009 study of the top 12 preventable causes of death. Let's briefly review their findings again. And remember that most of these are diet-related. It's unbelievable to consider when looking at this list how many of the foods we eat or don't eat that can directly impact our health and our lives. So today, I want us to delve a little deeper into the third leading cause of preventable death on this list, overweight and obesity. 216,000 deaths in a year from essentially eating too much of the wrong foods. That's practically a quarter of a million people per year dying from wrong food choices. Now remember, this Harvard study just covers deaths from obesity. Now what about the actual obesity numbers of those who are still alive? So let's check out the stats from the Center of Disease Control and Prevention. Look at this. Look at how many states are in the darker blue. That indicates that between 10 to 14% of the population is obese. That's a lot of people. At least 1 in 10 people are obese. Isn't that amazing? Actually, not really. What's amazing is that this is the CDC's data from 1990. Psych. So now let's take a little lesson from our friend Contrast. Here's the CDC's 1995 data for obesity. Ouch. Look at all that dark blue erupt. Now we're pushing the upper teens per state. Now here's the CDC's Y2K data for obesity. Uh-oh. We're breaking into the yellow colors. Now we're into the 20 to 24th percentile. That's one out of five people who are obese, and that's double the obesity compared to 10 years earlier. Can't exactly say we're on the right track here, can you? So let's move on to 2005. Ooh, seriously? Louisiana just completely skipped the color orange and went straight to the dark red. Les le bon temps roulé. Okay, and here's the grand finale. Now for the year 2010. Is it a space odyssey? Nah. Unfortunately, it's a year for record obesity numbers. Look at all of that dark red. That dark red indicates that one out of three people are obese. One out of three. And look at how the so-called healthiest states are in yellow. Not a single state in any shade of blue. Now compare this to 1990, only 20 years ago. It's kind of absurd, isn't it? Am I the only one here that is sensing a slight problem with this trend? Elephant in the room, anyone? Hello? And maybe someone needs to inform the one out of three that obesity is the third leading cause of preventable death, according to our recent Harvard study. And it looks like these numbers are going to keep on going up unless we do something about it. So how can you do something about it, you ask? Well, at times like this, I think of one of my favorite quotes from Abraham Lincoln. He said, if you want to help the poor, then don't become one of the poor. And so in the same light, I say, if you want to help the obesity epidemic, then don't become part of these statistics. So let me ask you, how is this graph going to look in another 10 to 20 years? And how is this Harvard study's preventable death numbers for obesity going to look? Are you going to be one of these statistics too, even though obesity is completely preventable? Does it really have to be this way? Think about it.